every body. And um, basically what was happening after downloading Undertale, which just for reference, it is December 10th, 2015, just for anybody who's having this problem. Uh, but I just now downloaded Undertale and went to launch it. And all that seems to happen is this window will open up and uh, it won't actually uh, it do anything. Um, in this case here, it actually says it's already running, but it, it's actually not uh, already running. Uh, in fact, it, it won't run. It'll continue to do that. It'll go off. Uh, so at this point, I decided to try to find some workarounds and uh, did a little searching on the internet. Couldn't really find uh, much that helped me actually launch it from Steam. And so in order to run the game, if you're having this same issue, on Windows 10 like I am, uh, you'll have to do a, a little bit of a workaround. So once you've installed the game, go ahead and just open up File Explorer. And basically what you want to do, uh, you just want to go to your Steam folder. Uh, that's the first thing that you want to go to. So we went to Windows, um, Program Files, and then you want to scroll down to your Steam file. Uh, from here, you're going to see a lot of stuff. Go ahead into the Steam Apps file and your common file. Uh, and then you will find the Undertale uh, file. So what you want to do is you just want to open that up. Now what I uh, did in my case is I went ahead and added a new folder uh, to my desktop. Um, just named it Undertale. So from uh, Undertale here, what I did was I extracted the files using WinRAR. Uh, it's a free download that you can get. And then I just put that and went ahead and extracted it in the old folder on my desktop. Uh, now at this point, you can go ahead and close out the theme folder that you had uh, open. And go ahead and open up your Undertale folder. Uh, from here, all you need to do is scroll down to the very, very bottom, and you just need to delete the Steam API uh, .dll file. Go ahead and delete that file, and from there, uh, Undertale will launch. And there it is. Um, there are in-game buttons that'll make it full screen and everything. That's not really the point of this video, but. Uh, one thing to understand. Okay, it's kind of loud. I'm just going to go ahead and close it out now, but uh, I can confirm that it does run. Uh, so once you have uh, done that, the only bad thing about this workaround is it will not track your gameplay on Steam. Uh, that is the, basically what you were deleting was its ability, it seems like, to communicate with Steam, so it won't track your hours. Uh, luckily for this game, there are no achievements or anything like that, so uh, you are not missing out on that. Uh, but that's basically it. That's the workaround there. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to uh, check out my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Uncle Yo, spelled L30 because I'm badass like that. Or you can watch any of my live streams over at hitbox.tv forward slash Uncle Leo. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, again, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube.